How's it going, my BNA studs? Welcome to another tutorial. Actually, it's kind of the same tutorial, uh, but not. Uh, just because this is, we've already done this, as I'm sure you guys have known if you guys are coming from that video. Uh, but this is just higher quality. For some reason, the other one I exported wrong. I don't know. But anyway, we're redoing it. So, just in case, you know, because of quality and all that stuff, this is pretty much what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is control alt new. That will just make a new project. Don't save just cause I just made that just so I can show you what we're looking at. All right, so also make a new composition and we'll name this nuke, nuclear blazed comp. And we'll make it about 15. All right, that's fine. All right, so what we're gonna do is create a text, control T. Also your text tools right here and click this, your uh, stage and just type nuclear blazed or your, whatever your text is and control a to highlight it all let's grow that out and that's looking awesome but not that big all right <laughs> all right so now that we have that let's go ahead and co click control y also layer new solid will do the trick and we'll name this lava yes all right Control Shift C will pre compose, move all attributes. We'll call this Lava Comp. Okay, let's go ahead and double click that to go into the composition. And what we're going to want to do is go to Effects and Presets, Presets, and add um, a fractal noise and drag that to your Lava Composition. Let's go ahead and bring the bright or the yeah the brightness down, and also go to Transform and. Let's go ahead and put the brightness down a little bit more and scale it to about right there. So let's go ahead and go to sub settings and we'll also go to sub rotation. Just rotate that out to where it looks like energy, which is pretty much right there. Let's also scale this up and transform tab, which I'd say about there is looking awesome. And uh, also boost up this complexity. Wow, you. Oh, right there. Let's go ahead and boost that up. That's fine. All right, so now uh, what we're going to do is make this screen. If it's not screen, you know, toggle switches down here will get you that option. And as you can see, it's already kind of looking pretty, pretty swagalicious, if I do say so myself. So awesome. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is. Uh, duplicate your lava layer and we will call this um, just highlights and uh, so let's go ahead and solve this just so we can see what we're doing here and we're gonna want to scale this down so transform scale down we're gonna want to make this brighter and that's fine let's go add some uh, rotation right there is about fine and that's good so let's go ahead and add this to screen for some reason it's not showing up oh don't forget to uh, unsolo it and we'll go ahead and put that uh, screen there we go and let's go go ahead to our nuclear blaze comp or whatever you named your previous composition and we'll put the lava comp beneath your text and where it says track mat let's go ahead and put that to luma mat also if that's not there you know toggle switches we'll put it there so as you can see it's looking pretty cool however it doesn't move it's just an image so let's go ahead and back to our lava composition go to our energy uh, click down your arrow alt click evolution let's do time Type in time times 100. A uh, guy on the previous video questioned, uh, he put in time quotation mark 100. It's your asterisk, so shift 8 will give you that symbol. Click out of it, and as you can see, our energy has that nice, uh, it's moving, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and go to lava, and let's do the same thing, time times 150 this time and put that arrow down it's always good to put your arrows down because it keeps you more organized uh, not necessarily in tutorial because you're always going back and forth um, but 
time times 200 on your uh, highlights and as you can see now what we get so as you can see it has that nice look to it however uh, you know you might want to go a little bit faster that's whatever you want to do it's your project or whatever you're doing this for uh, so just put the intervals of time times you could put it higher like at 300 or 350 or 400 this will just make it you know faster uh, so all right, so now that we have that done, what we're going to want to do is create our fire. But before we do that, I want to explain to you guys what this uh, mat is doing. Basically, it's getting rid of our text and saying that our lava composition should just be where our text is. So our text, this isn't actually, our lava comp actually isn't our text. As you can see when we move it, it just goes where our text was. Um, so it's not really our text, but it but if you don't know anything about mats and editing, then you would say that that's a text, but in all reality, it's not. It's just pretending to be a text. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and control Y. This, we'll call this fire, and control shift C, we'll name it fire comp. Okay, let's go ahead and add a fractal noise. Oh wait, no, double click fire comp, then double click fractal noise. Make sure your fire is selected though double click fractal noise and we're going to want to make a fire so let's go to uh, dynamic progressive and also bring down your brightness bring up your contrast or your contrast yeah and then go to sub settings and let's go ahead oops. let's go ahead and rotate this and also transform scale it up also complexity I don't know, I'm just gonna make this full just so I can kind of see. And complexity just obviously makes it more complex looking, uh, which is always awesome. And so let's go ahead and add an evolution, evolution to this time times 250. Yeah. And we render this out. Of course, it's taking forever because we're in full, but as you can see, it moves. However, fire moves up. So what we're gonna wanna do here is go to I just had it open okay so go to your offset turbulence in your transform tab and what we're gonna want to do is go make sure you're at oops, oh, stupid mouse make sure you're at the very first frame of your compositions click offset turbulence make sure you're at the beginning of your composition and go all the way to the end and put uh, this right uh, number at negative three three zero zero and now what we get, so it's moving up, which is awesome. Uh, you want, want it to move a little bit faster, so you can go to like negative three, or maybe, maybe even four fifth, four thousand five hundred, and get something that looks a little bit better and acceptable. All right, so let's go to our original composition. You can't see anything because this is a normal. So I go to screen, actually, you'd add it, which might look a little bit better. Uh, just play with these. Uh, it always, it's always awesome to see what it can do. Uh, so uh, if you go to your ellipse tool, if it's not on there, just hold your uh, left mouse clicker and just click your ellipse tool. And double click this, and it will make your fire text nice and circular. And also click MMM three times and then feather that out and also mass expansion it down. And we're not in fit frame right now, so we're gonna fit our frame. Let's move our mask up. And there we go. It's looking looking pretty delicious. Hold shift. And I see that's about good. Yeah. Alright, so now what we're gonna wanna do is duplicate your fire comp and just put it over here and also make it about like that so, so it's not the same and also put your uh, fire comp over here just move it a little bit to the left and alt left bracket and alt right bracket over here all the way at the end of the composition and basically they're not the same fire so they're not going to look the same which is always good when you're in VFX editing. You want 
no geometry. Uh, so, yeah. So now what we're going to want to do is, of course, um, basically what you're going to want to do with the fire is duplicate as much times as you want and need. And then just put it all over um, your composition. So uh, you can, uh, let's just go ahead and make a duplicate this. Let's make it small. Let's also extend that that way. So I guess something looks like that. Let's put our fire comp beneath our, oops, beneath our text. And make something that looks like that. Also move it to the left. Go all the way to the right, alt right bracket. Okay, and so now what we're looking at, let's go ahead and put this in full, is a resemblance of what is going to be awesome, except it's not going to do it because it's in full. But anyway, you see it's moving up and all that good stuff. We could probably put this in like a third instead of quarter. And let's just do that. And we already are getting something pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so as you can see, the more you duplicate and the more that you offset each one to make it not look the same, the more it's, the better it's going to look. Um, so let's go ahead and add some color to this. So what we're going to use is Video Copilot's VC Color Vibrance. It's free. You can go just go to videocopilot.net and it's in their articles. You just got to download, down, it says download project file and it contains VC Color Vibrance and you just install it in your plugins folder. Uh, this is not that kind of tutorial, uh, so I'm not going to go f fully into that, but uh, anyway, already done, I already did. Uh, so just uh, pick what looks best. Um, I say about there looks freaking awesome. Copy this and select your other fire layers, control click them and then control V and it will paste the fire. However, uh, you can also mess with, you know, this stuff. Um, so preserve luminance or not, you could vibrance, um, gamma makes it a little bit brighter, which is pretty cool. Um, and you could just mess with that each one. Also, you could probably change the colors of, of each fire. And let's put the gamma down. Let's put the gamma. But anyway, you just you don't want everything to look the same. So you know, put color, more color on certain fires, make make them a little bit hotter looking. Um, but uh, eventually you'll have something that looks like what we had before. Um, but we're not done yet. So let's go ahead and duplicate our text and make this below our lava composition. Let's go ahead and see that. And let's zoom in here. Uh, just use my mouse wheel for that. And let's go ahead and move it, our text a little bit to the right. And this will just help with us seeing the text. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a glow. Uh, to that, yes. And probably not that much. Let's say about there is fine. Glow intensity maybe. And that's Awesome. Uh, let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's add glow to it. And of course, you know, radius. And probably something not too much like that. <laughs> uh, but something that looks a little bit like that. And what we get is something that looks pretty freaking awesome. Uh, just using uh, the plugins in After Effects, uh, not using any other additional third-party plugins, just using what's in After Effects. It looks pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. And of course, it's not 
it's in third resolution, so if we went in full, we're not going to render it, but uh, it looks a lot better in full, as you can see. So just add fire, uh, change each individual one. As you can see, it looks freaking awesome right here. So if you like put that around the text and everything and add additional, like lower the opacity on some of them, it'd look a lot, lot, lot better. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, please like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we're actually producing a lot more. We got some great reactions from you guys from Rooster Teeth from our submissions and we plan on doing a whole bunch more. Uh, so thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.